last time on Star Trek. The war is not going as well as we might wish. Our fleet are protecting key worlds, but dozens of other targets have fallen to herald attacks. Civilian casualties are rising. We need to act. This facility is building a device to turn the tide in our favor. Captain Nog, what is the status of the weapon? We've had some setbacks, Captain. We're still weeks from a working prototype. No amount of temporal manipulation will change that. And have you chosen a target for the temporal incursion? We are still running simulations. We've configured the holodecks to help us evaluate the possible changes that occur after removing an element from the time stream. Some of these scenarios show promise, but none are exactly what you want. Very well. We cannot afford to wait another day. We are losing this war. We need to strike now. A direct engagement is our only option. We will put all our resources into a full attack on the Iconians. Every ship we can muster will be a part of one massive strike against the Herald Sphere. And now, the conclusion. Uh, interference coming from the sphere, blocking some comm signals, that figures. What the heck is going on there? We got through. What's your status? We can't reach any of the other away teams. We're FUBAR. Acknowledged. Sensors are picking up power fluctuations near your coordinates. The impact with the Quartar must have disrupted their systems. Start disabling anything you can reach. If we do enough damage, maybe that will help us take their ship. <sighs> okay. You haven't died yet, Karak. I'm proud of ya. Okay, I gotta talk to you. Away teams are attacking power junctions, but they are encountering heavy resistance. It would be an honor to join your team, sir. <laughs> if you do, is the same as this other coin on I have here. I don't want ya. But if you live, I'll take ya. Okay, and disable power junction. Oh, I guess we're going this way. I'm gonna assume this is like the last time we were in one of these where Red Away Door. Reporting in, sir. Heavy resistance and heavy casualties. Will you shut up while I'm talking? I'm gonna assume that red doors mean you don't go that way, so Well, bad guys this way, so I guess we're gonna go this way. Detecting life signs and weapon discharges dead ahead. Oh, yep. Green mean Federation and Herald weapons fire beyond this door. There is also a power junction. I told you don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. And now I lost my train of thought. Thanks. This looks important over here. Oh, shiny thing. It must be important. Do you care so little for your lives? Will you know that the way of my hand Oh, my God. 
I didn't do anything. It was the Klingons. Oh, what the hell? And can I... No, can't get to that one until she's dead, eh? That's bad. Oh, son of a... You know... Matara is retreating. She might be trying to recharge her energy. Oh, this is embarrassing. The Klingon actually reses me. Oh. Whoa, what are you doing over there? The fluctuations are increasing exponentially. Interesting, but it makes sense. The Iconians are energy beings. If Matara can't use the ship's systems, she'll use herself as a battery for the game. But that's probably dangerous for her. She's bleeding herself dry with every gateway. Keep at it. If you can drain enough of her energy, she might make herself vulnerable. Oh, the double meaning of that sentence. Harold, reinforcements! Where's Alyssa? There is another power junction ahead. the green door. This smells like an ambush. So, this. This. And the med generator. Just to play it safe. Secure, and the other interface is just over there. I am detecting a third junction ahead.
It's kind of cool looking in here, though. Another junction just ahead, sir. You know, uh, you're making it difficult for me not to swear. If we can keep forcing the creature to use her own power, we can weaken her enough to defeat her. No beep, Sherlock. Okay, so I'm going to assume this will end up like the last time, so we'll go here. And here. Put this right here. And let's get to it. I am detecting strong energy signatures ahead. I believe it to be some kind of command center. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! <sighs> Are you kidding me? The Klingon is getting me up again? Oh, this is really embarrassing. Oh, I'm dead again. Come on, boy. Come on. All those times of us getting you up, you... No, not right now! Respawn. Oh, the should have set my exo comps loose on her. Eat this. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Oh. Don't believe I stood there and took that! Um. No. Okay, we're 
respawn. <sighs> Almost got that little wench. Oh, get her. We must disable the other interface before we continue. Are you just launching over here? Get to the command center. I'm gonna assume it's this way. The area ahead contains four interface junctions. What happened to the rest of the Klingons? Ah. Just shut up and die, lady. Four in here. Okay. Ah, Just set up everything on the other side. Oh boy.
Didn't realize we still had people here. Now you all saw that. I was out of the range of that weapon, and he still nailed me. Oh, great. Oh! Bloody hell. One down. Alright, get everybody up. Let me go hit the last thing and then we can kill this wench and go get some baconators. What are you doing way back here, you... Flagship. We are so screwed. I hate to say it, but that might be the first bit of good news I've heard all day. Okay, we need to fall back. While there's still a chance, the Heralds will be coming back in force. Warriors died well, and they will not be forgotten. Uh, oh, yeah, it's time to go warp assault. Oh my God, really? Can't just swarp out. I gotta fly. <laughs> really, what was the point of the? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Is everybody in here this time, or... Nope. Thank God for a minimap. Where the heck am I in this thing? somewhere? Oh. Yeah. Use the hall. Well, for a minute there I thought that was Kurok and I was like, what the heck? You didn't get hurt that bad. Oh. I don't think we have a choice now. We have to complete the Krenum device. Captain Cogren wants it online immediately, but this isn't something we can rush. Cutting corners with temporal mechanics? That's how you end up with unsolvable time paradoxes. Look, I'll do whatever I can, but I'm scared of this technology. Building it will be the greatest challenge of my career, but actually altering time? I'm not sure anyone should have that much power. I agree. I want to personally commend you. Whatever success we had in this mission was thanks to you. The Iconians have lost their leader. Their unity is broken. That... That might give us an opening to end this war. The cost, though? All those people? I can't help but feel that I failed them. <sighs> Grieve for the dead later. We got a war to win. Despite the extraordinary efforts of you and many others, our operation was a failure. We're still totaling up the casualties, but the cost was too great. The Heralds still stand. They have lost one Iconian, but if anything, that will only prolong the conflict. Defeating Matara was a combination of the sacrifice of Guroth and many others, your quick thinking and martial prowess, and the Iconian's arrogance. Matara did not believe an Iconian could die. The others will not make the same mistake. Yes, however, instead of three heralds, we're now facing only two, so I would call that a small victory. Indeed, but that is a small comfort to the warriors who have entered Stovacor this day. Those of us who remain will mourn, and then we survive another day. Our losses were great today, and we will mourn for every hero who died defending their galaxy. I am a warrior. I believe in honorable combat, direct tactics, and looking my enemy in the eye. Although you did manage to destroy Matara and break the unity of the Iconians, I now see that we cannot use traditional combat to defeat them. Captain Nog and his team will continue their work on the weapon. It may be our only option. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a like, maybe comment, subscribe, and hey, even get a friend to watch. That would be great. Until next time.